I'm in Gravesend at an event organised by Kent Council and Gravesham Council under the banner of uh, Kent Connects. And it's all about how can we use technology for community benefit. And what we brought together here are ideas around community challenges and opportunities, um, developers with the skills to uh, develop new ways of using data, and the data which is held by councils. And I'm with uh, Darren uh, Everton, who's the IT uh, director here. Where's the new value coming from here, Darren? Um, well, the real value is making use of the open data, which is uh, being published by all public sector organisations now, and uh, really taking that data, which everybody can access at the moment, but you know it's all up there as, as raw information. So ways that we can take that information, package it up, and actually make it useful and add value there so that people can... You know, members of the public can actually do comparisons, they can use that data in a new and innovative way. And, you know, we're thinking of, you know, ideas and ways of using that data, which when the government said, you know, this is the way forward, you know, we've got to open up, make uh, the public sector more transparent, show the public what we're doing, um, how we're being held accountable. Um, some of the ways that we're looking to use the data now weren't even envisaged at that time. And now, through events such as this, where we're looking at, you know, what we can do with that data, it's opening up all manner of new possibilities. And that's where I think really the value will start to come from, um, looking at new ways of working um, with those types of, uh, types of information which is being published. Um, if I can turn to um, Anthony Parker here. Anthony, we've seen these sorts of uh, innovation workshops and camps springing up over the last few years. And the cry um, has tended to be, well, the ideas are fairly easy. It's the implementation which is uh, difficult. Um, are we getting to the point now where there's enough of this going on, not just to have a few ideas and a few apps, but maybe a much bigger store of goodies which uh, offer the public um, really useful things that they can do on their smartphones? Yeah, I think if uh, more events such as this are put together, it's quite likely that uh, there will be a need for a... Uh, a social app store. Uh, this would be something which uh, uh, developers could uh, publish their applications on. It would be a place where uh, the public could look to actually procure their app these applications or these apps uh, to download to their phones which would provide them very uh, small packaged uh, applications to uh, access all of that vast amount of open data that's now become available. So an example might be you may be interested in uh, knowing uh, the, which school uh, my child could be attending. Uh, at the moment, yes, you can uh, go to your local authority and you can pick up information I along those lines. But there's an opportunity here once we know the sorts of things that people are interested in finding data about, designing an app which will be available to the public, they can download it, they can use that app to actually access that type of information. It then becomes very quick, very easy for people to be selective about choosing the apps and the sorts of information which they'd like to gain very quick access to. And um, how far does that have to be done on a local basis and how far can it be done nationally? Obviously the, a lot of the data is going to be um, local, but is there enough similarity between um, the applications in different areas that maybe local authorities could collaborate or developers could take up the opportunity to develop apps which would use local data but would have a national market? I'll answer that one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was too much of a jump. I mean, have you got an idea on uh, that, Darren, looking at it from the point of view of the data that, that, that you hold and knowing what other local authorities are doing? 
Yeah, I mean, there is a, a sort of a mandate coming from central government as to the types of information which should be um, should be published. So um, all public sector organisations are actually um, working to, to that goal. Um, so that does mean that, yes, there will be um, similarities across the country, so not just within a specific geographic area. And I think potentially this is where, again, some of the value of uh, applications may come, in that because we are all publishing the same type of data, um, you'll be able to easily make comparisons from one area to another. So if you was looking at maybe something like, you know, spending history, um, how organisations are spending their uh, their funding, um, you could see, you know, which uh, organisations were more efficient than others in terms of spending. Uh, when you're looking at um, data such as, you know, antisocial behaviour, you can compare one area to another area. So yes, so because um, there is commonality, what we're doing in terms of developing applications is uh, you can replicate uh, across the country and also, like I say, use, use that data to make comparisons.